Today we're going to multiply exponents with like bases. And before I get started with that, I just want to do a short review, do a short review on um, exponents and bases. This entire piece right here in the square, that's called a power. Okay? This big number right here at the bottom is called the base. And the little number that's to the at the top right of the base is called the exponent. And what this exponent does, it 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 basically tells this base how many times to write to write itself down and to multiply. Okay? So let's try one. Let me explain. I have 2 to the third equals 2 to the third equals what does this mean? Well, this means that you have you're going to write 2 down 3 times. And you're going to multiply. That's all it means. So let's multiply this. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So therefore, 2 to the third power equals 8. Let's do another one. I have 3 to the fourth power. So that means I'm going to write 3 down 4 times. And I'm going to multiply. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. And 27 times 3 is 81. So therefore, 3 to the 4th power equals 81. OK? That's just a short review of what we're going to be doing. All right. OK. There's a basic rule for multiplying like bases. And the rule is, if you multiply exponents with the same base, you keep your same base, and you add your exponents. So I'm going to keep my same base and add 3 plus 2, which is 5. Let me say that again. Whenever you multiply exponents with the same base, if you notice I have two x's here, I'm going to bring my x over and add 3 plus 2. Well, 3 plus 2 is 5, so therefore x to the fifth power is the answer. Well, well what exactly does x to the third, what does that mean and what does x to the second mean? Well, let's, let's expand that. x to the third is really x three times, times. x to the second is really means x two times. And I ha that leaves me with, I know my answer is going to be x, but x to the what? One, two, three, four, five. And that's how we end up with the same answer here. So let's work a problem with that with an actual base, uh, where the base is a number. Okay. So let's say two to the third times two to the second. Well, since I have the same base, I'm going to bring my base over, and I'm going to add three plus two. So my solution is going to be 2 raised to the 3 plus 2 is 5 power, 5th power. Well, 
2 to the 5th power, well, before I do this, let, let's break this down. Let me show you what this means. 2 to the 3rd power really means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's what this means. 2 to the 3rd really means you have 3 2's and you have 2 to the 2nd really means you have 2 2's. Well, let's break this down. See what the final answer is. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So therefore, 2 to the 5th power equals 32. All right, let's work another one. I have 5 to the 4th times 5. This one is just a little bit different. But I still have the same base. I have the same base, so I'm going to bring my base over. Now, this base has a 4, and this base, there's no exponent there. Well, there actually is an exponent there, but we just don't write the exponent when it's 1. So we can write a little 1 right here. So we know that's going to be 5 to the 4 plus 1, which is 5 to the 5th power. So let's expand this. We know that we have 5 to the 5th power. So we have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. We have 5 fives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Let's find a solution. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. 25, 125 times 5 is 625. And 625 times 5 is 3,125. So therefore, 5 to, the thir 5 to the 5th power equals 3,125. Alright. What about this one? What if I had 3 to the 2nd? times 3 times 3 to the third well I have the same base so I know my base is going to be 3 I have a 2 exponent here a 3 exponent here and I don't have an exponent here and do you remember what I said it was going to be it's going to be 1 so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my exponents. I'm going to say 2 plus 1 plus 3. 2 plus 1 plus 3. So I wrote that here. So that's going to give us 3 to the 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 6. So we need to find out what is 3 to the 6th power. Well, what does it mean? It means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. 81 times 3 is 243. And 243 times 3 is 729. So you can have as many um, bases that are like with exponents, as many as you want, as long as you remember to just keep your base and add your exponents. I hope this video was was of some help to you. 
if you have any any um, comments or suggestions on future videos, please email me at mathwithmoon at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to uh, create more videos for you. And I will see you next time.